hope you can hear me okay above the sound of the waterfall. But today, I want to try and photograph some dippers. It took me about half an hour, I think, to, to walk from where I started to where I am now. And at that point, I didn't actually see any dippers. Further down where I entered, the, uh, the stream was quite narrow. But where I am now, it, it, the river widened out a little bit. And I have been told that this is quite a good area to, uh, to be in. So I thought, well, I would start here and then perhaps explore. But because I hadn't seen any dippers up until this point, I was in no rush. I took my time, I stopped, had a little bit of breakfast, and I thought what I would do, I would start with the, the lower section of this stream here. But beyond the waterfall, there is a, obviously another section with some nice boulders on as well. So I may venture up there a little bit later. As I was sitting, just eating my avocado, minding my own business, just looking out at this beautiful landscape, just looking out for birds, there was a dipper and it landed on a rock just further down the stream. And I managed to fire off one shot, one single shot. I think the dial on my A1 was in between medium and high. When I pressed the shutter button, it fired off a single shot. After that, the dipper flew by me and I've not seen it since. Now, I don't know if it went into a nest somewhere around the falls or it flew over the top of the falls. Um, but hopefully it will come back and I'm in no rush. I've got all day. I seem to be obsessed by these small aquatic birds recently. I shot them when I was in the Lake District last summer. And uh, when I went to the lakes at Christmas, we had terrible weather. I only managed to get out with a camera once uh, in the five or six days we was there, and that was only for a morning. And the, the, the river that I, that I went to, I managed to see uh, a, a few dippers, but the, the conditions were just, as I say, they was, they, they was not great, extremely overcast, um, very, very windy. And so none of the photos that I shot actually kind of managed to come out. But it was still great just, just watching this bird, you know, for, oh, for the best part of probably about an hour to an hour and a half, just perching and then diving down and, and getting carried away by this fast flowing stream and then just making its way out and perching again and then diving back in. I know they're not the most colourful of birds, but I just love watching them, I really do. I think, they're, I think they've got their own little, I suppose all wildlife has got their own little characters, but for me, this, this little bird is it's just something quite special. About 15 minutes ago, I saw the two dippers just fly straight over the top of me and I was hoping at least one of them would be back but now I've got two of them no more than about I don't know 15 meters in front of me I'm just going to play around with some settings I've been shooting at roughly 1 over 250 uh, ISO 1600 But now I've just dropped this all the way down to 1 over 40 because it's quite stationary. I don't know if this is going to work uh, and if they do I'll show you some images but um, it's quite nice to be able to lower my ISO. No, that looks a little bit blurred. Perhaps I was a little bit over ambitious there. Okay, let's take this back up. 
that looks a little bit better, one over 250. F7.1 ISO, which at the moment is I think around about 1600. Well, what a fantastic half an hour that was. I had both dippers, just no more than 15, 17 meters in front of me, and it was great. And there was one dipper that spent a lot of time just purely on his own, uh, on, a, on a rock. Uh, and I think I managed to get some nice images of him or her. And then the second dipper was very active, but I just couldn't get the camera in the right position. There was too many boulders or there were some twigs in the way and I couldn't really fire off a, a clean shot. But then at one point, both the dippers was on the same rock. Ah, oh, and that was just fantastic to watch. It really was just sitting there, preening themselves. The thing is though, it was quite challenging to photograph because I'm in this valley and the light levels are, are so poor. Um, and I didn't really want to push it much beyond ISO 1600. And that gave me a shutter speed of one over 200 on F7.1 which seems to be a little bit sharper on that lens than 6.3. But trying to photograph them both at the same time, as I say, was quite difficult because when one was fairly stationary, the other one was preening itself. So there's gonna be a little bit of motion blur, I'm, I'm sure, but who knows, I may get back to the computer and I may be pleasantly surprised. But for now, they've moved on for a while so I'm going to pour myself a hot cup of coffee and just warm up. Oh, well, I'm sure that the temperature is rising, but because I'm so static and have been now for a few hours, I'm getting really cold. I've just put my down trousers on under or under my waterproofs. So I've got every bit of clothing that I, I've brought with me on at the moment. So I'm hoping my legs will start to warm up soon. And this little spot here where I'm sitting near the waterfall, it's getting incredibly busy. There's a, a lot of walkers coming through here now and they're stopping as well. So as the day progresses, if this does get quite busy here, I may head further down the river and see what I can uh, see down there. Anyway, coffee time. Oh! Well, I left the waterfall because I figured that possibly what they was doing, they was using that large rock just to preen because they flew over my head earlier that morning and then they came back to that rock. And as I said on the video, they wasn't particularly active. Well, one of them certainly wasn't particularly active. So I, th I figured that perhaps that's where they was using just to preen and to rest. And they would actually be hunting further down the stream. And I started walking and I hadn't seen anything at all. And I was starting to regret leaving the, uh, the waterfall. But I'm here at this bridge and there is a dipper just perched on a, on a log on the side of the stream here. And I've been in here for about 10 minutes. The background is a little fussy. There's not a great deal of separation between the bird and the background. But what's nice now is that I've been able to raise my shutter speed to 1 over 400 and lower my ISO down to 1000. So, oh. just moving position. Mm -hmm. 